Hi students, this is Miss Gartell again, here, here I am, and we're going to talk today about drawing a portrait, drawing a face. I know that I had you draw an eye before, so now we're going to move on to drawing like a whole face. So I'm going to try and give you some good examples and good ideas. We're going to talk about guidelines so that you can create a whole face. I love doing portraits. Um, this Indian is a portrait that I've started and I used mostly color pencil and I added some watercolor like in his hair, but mostly it's color pencil. This is another one that I've started and um, just doing some pencil. So we're gonna just work with drawing and we're not gonna paint it yet, but we can't, you can if you want to, all right? Perfectly okay to do that. Over here, I have a diagram of the guidelines that you would use to draw a face. So we're just gonna draw a generic face. And I have this, I posted this on where your lesson is in the assignment, so you can go look at that. And I posted some other pictures that I've done as well, so that you can see those also, you can pick up a face from a magazine. You could take a photo that you have of yourself even and start to draw. That's a lot of fun to do also. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna make the shape of the head. And the head is like an egg shape. Okay, so it might not happen the first time you do it. You might have to use your eraser. We're just using pencil and eraser today. And it, what happens is it's going to be smaller at the bottom, wider at the top. That's an egg shape. So if you don't get it perfect right away, that's fine. That's why we have erasers. So you can erase some things as you go. And you know what? A face, all faces are different. So when you start with one face that you have a picture, we're going to talk about the guidelines, where to put everything. You might have to make the chin a little shorter, or you might want to have to make the top of the head a little bit higher. Just so you realize, the top of your head is not um, where your forehead is. Your forehead is a little further down. Once we have the shape of the face, we're going to draw right down the middle. That's our first guideline, right down the middle vertically. Then you're going to try and find horizontally that line and you're going to draw a horizontal across your face. Okay, make those lines light because we will be, you will be erasing them. Okay, sometimes I try and make them a little bit darker so you can see them. Now, Halfway between the edge of the face and the center of the face, you're going to make a little dot. And that's going to be for our eyes. So again, halfway between the center and the edge of the face, you're going to put a dot and that's your eye. Okay, that's where the eyes are going to go. If you measure halfway from the top of the head to that center line, just try and get a, like a guide. Okay, we can always change that after. That's the hairline. That's where your hair starts to grow. So this whole big thing isn't your head. And a lot of times when you guys draw your head, your head shape, you start putting the eyes up too high. Okay, so now, again, halfway from the center to the chin, we're gonna find that halfway spot. And that's where your nose is going to go the end of your nose, okay, like the tip of your nose. Again, halfway from there, we're gonna put another line, okay, and this is approximately where the mouth will go. And then half, we measure again halfway, okay, this is sort of indicating a little chin down there, all right? Now these lines also on the side of your face, that's telling you where your ears are going to start, okay? So your ear is gonna start right here in line with your eyes. 
Now the ears are going to end almost where that, where that nose is, where the end of your nose is. So when you're gonna draw an ear, we're gonna draw it close to the head and it's gonna come not that far down, but that's where it's going to come. Now the neck, your neck, if you feel, if you're looking in a mirror when you're drawing and kind of feel where your neck, your neck kind of starts when you're looking and you're feeling around for it, kind of right behind your ear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, we're gonna curve it in a little bit and go down. And then your shoulder comes out from there, just so we have a base for your picture. So here we have your ear, which is gonna come approximately like between the eyes and the nose. Okay. And then the neck, you kind of slide it down along the side of your face a little bit. Okay, if it looks too wide, curve it in a little bit more. Okay, we don't wanna have wrestler's necks, okay? And then the shoulder kind of comes out right from there. All right, so those can all be very light. You don't have to draw those dark. We're going to add hair, or you will add some hair as we go. So this way, it, that the hair kind of covers up a few things. So as I said, these dots right here are going to be the eyes. So that's why when we started drawing the eye, we started with that, that circle in the middle. Now we can erase that because we don't need that right now. Now this line is gonna help you to draw that eye shape right over it and right under. Remember we did that? So we have the eye go, that eye shape, that almond shape. Now when it comes here, kind of makes that funny little tear duct shape. And then we have that little curve right in there. We can make um, the pupil or the iris. I always forget which one is which. Okay, we can make that eyelid a little bit bigger. Okay, as you can see, I made a few lines. I might end up erasing some of them as I go. All right, we can erase some of those lines in there just so we get the basic eye. Now your eyebrow is going to start right up in line with the eye. Okay, and we're gonna go this way across. And your eyebrow, you can start out just making some lines. Okay, you could always fill it in afterwards. Okay, depending on how heavy an eyebrow you want to have. And the nose kind of comes right from this eyebrow. Okay, and our nose kind of comes in on both sides, okay? And usually, depending on the nose, you're gonna come down, and here at the bottom, it's going to curve. Now, it's not exactly the same in every single person, okay? If you're doing a person's portrait, it's not exactly the same. So we're gonna come down, these are shadows. This is where the, the face kind of goes in a little bit. Okay, if you're looking in the mirror, you'll see that. Your face kind of goes in right over here to create that hollow for your eye. Okay, and again, we have that eyebrow, which is dark. You have some shading. Now, a nose might have a little bump in it, depending on whose nose you're doing. Okay, we're gonna draw the nostrils, which are kind of like little commas on the side, and this, the sides of your nostrils, and this kind of just curves down. Okay, now from here, you can even add the other side of the nose. We weren't doing both sides, but we can. Okay, so you can start out very lightly over here so we see that there's a, the other half of the face. Now right here, if you look right here in the middle, under your nose, between your nose and your mouth, it's kind of like 
a little v-shape and it's called cupid's bow so it's sometimes it's a very distinct v-shape sometimes it's just a little round curve shape everybody's is a little different so we're going to make that kind of like a curved v-shape we're going to come out for the lips okay i'm trying to draw a little bit darker so that you can see what i'm doing i'm going to come out for the lips now this line looks like it's going to be the line almost in between i might erase that a little bit so i could draw it again right here the lips have a little they curve look at your lips in the middle they're not just straight across this curves up <clears throat> And then this curves in the opposite direction. It's not a line that goes straight across. And with practice, you'll just get better. Okay, sometimes this kind of curves outward. Everybody's lip is different. And the bottom lip. Okay, the bottom lip comes right underneath. And depending on who's, you know, the mouth, what picture you're looking at, there's your bottom lip. So we have, we now have our eye, nose, and the lip. If you're finding that, that your face is too wide, just come on, come on in and make it a little bit smaller if you think it should be smaller, okay? This is, you're drawing with a pencil. So if you need to, erase that and come in a little bit smaller. I think this one was looking pretty good. I didn't really have to erase it, but you could, okay? You could erase that, and don't forget to then erase the other side, and you can come in a little bit on this side too, okay? So you can erase it and come in a little bit. That might look, look a little more realistic to you. Then you'll have to come in again for the, the neck. So you have to make adjustments every time you work, you're gonna make adjustments. Now, here is where we put our hairline. Now we might, I might wanna raise that. I might say to myself, you know what, that's kind of low. All right, maybe I would like the hairline to come here. The hair comes actually not just to the top of your head. Your hairline, your hair actually stands a little bit off your skull. This is the top of your skull. So your hairline is gonna come a little bit off of there. It's not totally flat unless your hair is soaking wet. Then it's totally flat. So here, if we're doing long hair, you're just going to, uh, you're gonna make some lines here. You don't have to draw every line of the hair. Okay, you're gonna come like this. And your hairline is the line that's, if you pull all your hair back, it's the line that's created right where your hair starts growing off your forehead. That's your hairline. Okay, so maybe your hair is long. Now, if you're looking in a mirror, you're going to see that your hairline, here, we'll draw that a little bit darker, comes in front of your ear. Usually it comes in front for a little bit. And there are some sparse hairs that grow here. And your hair kind of goes down. If you're a girl, your hair, or who, if you have long hair, shouldn't say that there's a lot of guys with long hair out there. Okay, so if your hair is long, and you don't have to draw every hair, okay? You might wanna just draw a few. You might want it to go, if you want it to go over the ear, that's fine too. Depends on the hair that you're drawing. If you're drawing shorter hair, and in this our model is going to maybe have uh, maybe hair on the face, like you have, they call it fringe or bangs, whatever you call it. Okay, you can draw some of those coming down. Okay. And again, remember the hair comes in front of your ear a little bit. If you wanna draw short hair, like some guys, your hair is a little bit short on top. Okay, you might wanna just draw some of the hairs like that short on top. If your hair is wavy, 
Okay, you're just gonna make some wavy hair coming down. Depends on who you're drawing. Okay, D that depends on the, the hairstyle you're gonna give yourself. You're gonna go back and erase some of these guidelines that you don't need. Okay, so in the meantime, we do have to draw the eye over here. Give, we'll do it very quickly. Okay, and if you notice when I do the iris of the eye, I want it to touch that eyelid. Okay. The hard part is getting both eyes to look the same. I know that's kind of tricky, but you just have to work at it. It's not magic, you just practice. Where the bottom of the eye, you kind of see the bottom of the eye, This the top gets cut off by the eyelid. Okay, so you don't look like you've just been terrified. Okay, and again, you might wanna have the hair coming on one side of your face. Make sure it comes in front of the ear. If you wanna add an earring, you can add an earring. Um, I was erasing the guidelines. Now here, you're also going to have some shading. Don't forget that shading. And we have that eyebrow that we need to add right here. Okay, come down again. Let's erase some of these lines. Okay. Now let's make sure that the neck is right. We might have to make the neck a little bit thinner. You might wanna add uh, a line for say a t-shirt. Okay, and you might wanna add like a little necklace maybe. Okay, so we might wanna add something there, a little necklace. You're gonna add all the details yourself. In shading, you're going to, you can use your pencil, okay? And just remember that the hair that's closest to the head is gonna be maybe a pinch darker. You don't have to draw each section of hair. I would take a piece of hair like that and maybe draw that in. Okay, give it a little bit shading. Maybe it gets lighter as it goes down. Okay. And do that. Leave another space and maybe make a smaller section. Okay, don't, don't shade evenly. Okay, if it's too even, it's going to look flat. And you want it to be a little more three-dimensional. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to start out dark and maybe get a little bit lighter as it goes because light is hitting it as it goes down. So the light is hitting things as it gets further away from your face, all right? And just pick and choose. You don't have to, you don't have, to have every strand of hair drawn, okay? You might wanna have some hairs on the face, okay? I, I have another painting, I think, that I put. That's a painting of my daughter. So you might want to look at that. There's some hairs there. You can color it in with pencil. You can um, just do a pencil drawing. You can add color pencil to your drawing. That, that would be great, too. All right. So now that I showed you the basics, you're going to get to work. Have fun. And remember, practice, practice, practice. Bye, see you soon.